Aquarium Tank Basics Any new aquarium tank should first lean a radical test to make sure that it's watertight. If after 12 hours there aren't any leaks, it should be emptied and placed in its final position. Now all is prepared to line up the aquarium, for this work we shall require various items like sand, rocks etc. These are going to be death with sowers. For creating a bottom soil, you need, first of all, some sand, the foremost suitable is named 1 16th grade and it's about the dimensions of the common pin head. The gravel to be used must even be graded, that's, the gram must be of uniform size. Sand and gravel are sold in aquarium supply stores are always graded, but if you get elsewhere they'll nor be. Gravel grains 2 to 5 mm work best. If you employ nothing, but sand, it must be washed in buckets, under running water until no more dirt or foam involves the surface and spared out on the underside of the tank in an exceedingly layer running from 3 to 6 cm thick sloping upwards from front to back. If you choose to combine the sand with gravel to form a minimum of a layer 6 cm deep on top of the subgravel filter since but this amount reduces the filtering capacity of the tank. Your tank is that the basic element, and is of the foremost importance in building an aquarium. The scale of the tank depends on the amount and size of fish you propose to possess in it. That's why proper planning is sort of essential once you want to line up the aquarium. But then it's important to form it as big as you'll be able to afford. By all means avoid a globe tank the maximum amount as possible. Rectangle shape is often good thanks to various reasons you may discover later. Option 1. You'll buy ready-made glass tanks already sealed professionally founded aquarium tank at any aquarium store. Option 2. Buy ready-made plastic models through distributors or mold extrusion manufacturers and put your aquarium tank together yourself. Below are the tools you wish and therefore the steps you wish to require to line up completely new aquarium tank. Tools. Sheet of glass, 4 mm to 12 mm, silicone sealant, clear and transparent, silicone gun or syringe, dulling stove, tape rule, sheet of paper, ruler, pencil and eraser, napkin, X2, newspaper, hand glove, rubber type, denatured alcohol, blade, knife, soap and soap case, masking paper, bench, made with plywood, one quarter flash, water and siphon hose, buckets, X2, polyethene sheet about the dimensions of the table. Other than that, I'll offer you my 12 essential aquarium tips below may be a great start on your thanks to having an exquisite aquarium stuffed with happiness and healthy fish that you simply will be proud of. Number 1. Location of the tank during a spot which is draft free and includes a moderate amount of sunshine for 8 to 10 hours. This may make sure the safety of the tank and also the inhabitants. Number 2. Location of the aquarium tank where water spillage on a daily basis will do no damage, at a height convenient for working, and in an exceedingly place where it'll not be moved. Number 3. Proper sand gravel, not large, not too fine. Number 4. Conditioned water, freed from chlorine, dirt, excess hardness, excess acidity, or excess alkalinity. Hard, acidic, dirty water isn't suitable for an aquarium. It'll make life uncomfortable for fish and results in constant fish death. Number 5. Availability of plants properly place is extremely essential. Number 6. Proper, even temperature for the fish species. Number 7. Decoration and furnishing if you desire them. Number 8. Aeration to provide additional oxygen. Number 9. Filtration to get rid of excesses waste products. Number 10. Fish which can live peacefully together. Number 11. Food to stay them health. Number 12. Kits and utensils to form maintenance easy. Aquariums provide relaxing entertainment. Owning a fish aquarium will be an awfully relaxing hobby. If you have got babies, they're going to spend many hours mesmerized by brightly colored fish swimming around and frolicking. 
In fact, aquariums are an excellent thanks to bring the family together, especially if you permit each of your children to select out one special fish of the breeds you're attending to have in your aquarium to be his or her very own fish. Despite the relaxing nature of aquariums, they're not a no-care item. After all, there are many things that have got to be considered when choosing the right aquarium for your specific needs. Aquariums today are available many shapes and sizes be sure when selecting the one that may best fit your needs. It is always a higher idea to grasp what you're visiting be using your aquarium for before purchasing and setting it up. You are doing not want to own to undo all the work that goes into an aquarium because it won't sustain the fish and flowers you have got planned for it, nor does one want to kill your fish because you have got a tank that's improperly founded or proportioned to deal with them. Once you've decided the fundamentals, saltwater vs freshwater, reef tank, or live plant tank, then you'll want to think about what number fish you wish to accommodate in your tank. A decent rule of thumb is to plan for 1 inch of fish per square foot of area in freshwater tanks and 3 inches of fish per square measure during a saltwater tank. Larger tanks require much less maintenance when properly populated than smaller tanks. The trick is to recollect it's better to own but the utmost than to travel over. Having an aquarium is a good thanks to relax at the tip of a protracted workday or workweek. These pets don't require daily walking or litter box cleaning almost daily, but they're an investment and do require some maintenance. Care properly for the animals in your aquarium and it should provide you with a wealth of entertainment over the years. Aquarium plants. Adding live plants to an aquarium does over just improve aesthetics. Plants provide shelter, food for vegetarian fish, and forestall green water. Plants also absorb greenhouse gas, waste products, contribute oxygen to the water, and promote the expansion of algae, tiny worms, rotifers, and protozoa, providing live food for the fish. Lighting is very important if you would like your plants to grow successfully. They have 12 to 14 hours of sunshine day after day, rather like in nature. Opinions vary concerning what proportion light live plants need, but generally 3 to 5 watts per gallon works well. Compact fluorescent bulbs and PAR 20, 50 watt halogen bulbs both do the duty right. So experiment with differing kinds of lighting to search out, out what works best for your plants. Plants also require the right nutrients to remain healthy and green. Everything works together in an exceedingly well-planned aquarium. So keeping the plants fed isn't a difficult prospect. Nutrients to feed the plants come from the fish within the tank. You'll add more if needed. Fertilization is straightforward furthermore because plants are ready to naturally use fish waste as fertilizer you'll be able to add an advertisement fertilizer once you change the water. But it's usually better to follow the less is more philosophy when it involves fertilizing your plants. An excessive amount of fertilizer can cause problems with algae growth within the tank, and you'll be able to always add more if required. What about water temperature? The bulk of aquatic plants thrive in water temperatures between 72F and 78F. The pH of the water is additionally important. A pH of 6.8 to 7.8 is ideal. Snails are another natural component that help the health of the aquatic environment. Snails clean plants of food and little algae, as they crawl over leaves and foliage. However, some snails can actually cause problems. Ram's horn, pond, and other species eat the leaves rather than clean them, and might cause unwanted damage. Luckily, it's quite easy to get rid of troublesome snails. Simply place lettuce leaves at the highest of the aquarium to draw in the snails, remove everything with a net once all the snails have assembled on the lettuce pieces. Before placing new plants in your aquarium, rinse them thoroughly in warm water to get rid of any insects you don't want invading the aquarium. Healthy plants have solid roots and firm leaves, so this is often what you ought to explore for when purchasing aquatic plants. Avoid plants that give off an odd smell, especially bulbs, as this can be a sign that the plant isn't healthy and should not grow properly once placed in your tank. 
Younger plants generally adjust better to transplantation, so keep this in mind additionally. Although the plants you get will need a period of your time to regulate, and should lose some leaves, don't be alarmed. This is often completely normal. To market healthy new growth, just remove dead leaves as they seem, being careful to not damage the roots. Aquatic plants make an attractive addition to any aquarium and help keep the fish comfortable, healthy, and happy. Aquarium Plants and Lighting Mini Guide Aquarium plants are as important to aquariums as water is to fish. Aquarium plants add more life to aquarium and make it to appear beautiful while completing the aquarium community structure. The most important thing involved in mind with plants is to create a lovely background, leaving ample space that the fish can swim undisturbed and be seen. The tall, grassy type is best planted at intervals in rows, while the feathery ones look better after they are bunched into small clumps, which makes them look like branching bushes. When planting rooted plants, hold the information of the bunch of roots between the thumb and second finger and rest them on the sand. Now with the primary finger push the upper part of the roots where they join the stem about 2 cm into the sand. Without moving this finger scrape with the thumb and second finger some sand over any uncovered portion of the basis. When setting up rootless plants in bunches, the strategy explained above is repeated, but now the lower ends of the stems are placed together and treated exactly as if they were roots. It is important that the water surface should be right up to the lower fringe of the highest angle bracket of the tank. In order that looking from the front the water surface cannot be seen and therefore the viewer gets the impression that there's no water within the aquarium. If the extent is allowed to fall below the highest angle bracket the tank appears like a container holding water. Aquarium lighting is additionally important for aquarium plants. This depends greatly on whether you propose to successfully grow plants or not. Lack of sunshine causes colorful fish to fade and clench reds to pink, green to white. The two main methods of lighting aquarium are by the incandescent and FLOURESCENT. The total amount of sunshine required could be a matter of trial and error. An excessive amount of light will turn the water green, deficient will stunt plant growth. The lighting is natural or artificial or a mix of both. The simplest position is near a north-facing window. This could provide the perfect amount of indirect lights which can be supplemented by artificial light. The lighting should be housed in wood constructed stylishly with the furniture and placed above the tank. If there's no natural daylight, the lights should be left on for about 8 hours per day. If the water turns green, you chop down on the sunshine. The best light for showing off an aquarium comes from behind. Aquarium ornament. Aquarium ornaments aren't there to feature any benefits to the fish, they're only for you to feature some decoration within the tank. You'll be able to have all types of ornaments, big or small, traditional or caricature, simple or perhaps complicated. There are thousands of various ornaments that you just should purchase in stores otherwise you can even make your own. However ornaments don't seem to be for all fish, some fish don't love them. I do know for a fact, Oscars don't take well to any variety of ornament or perhaps plant. Some fish do need them though, basically to cover or sleep in and prevent from bigger fish. Traditional ornaments are ornaments like castles and ships, they supply security for smaller fish from the larger ones, they also provide an area to remain and play, yes fish do play. Fish ornaments are available in pet and fish stores. They have an inclination to range from very low to very high prices. You'll be able to, after all, get more detailed ornaments that are not shaped to be anything aside from like branches with weeds on them. Some fish need their ornaments to resemble their natural home, for instance, plenty of plants and branches within the tank. If you have got amphibians in your tank they often sort of a waterfall ornament with a showering pool at the underside of it in order that they'll bath in it. Amphibians need lots of greenery within their tank as this resembles their home and so you must try and ensure that you simply fill your tank stuffed with it. Aquarium ornaments are easy to come back across and that they don't take much effort to place in the tank. 
You should always try and keep the ornaments just like the animal's natural habitat unless it's a fish that couldn't care less, like goldfish for instance. Goldfish are very easy to stay and you'll be able to decorate their tank with all kinds of funny ornaments. With smaller fish, you'll attempt to decorate their tanks with funky ornaments but I always feel that the standard ones are better. If you enjoy this type of contents, consider subscribing this channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.